All right, what's going on? Hey, my name is Isaac um, Colavecchio. I am the builder <laughs> and owner of this bus. If you are watching this because you are staying in our Airbnb, uh, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to learn how to use this stove so you don't burn yourself and my bus to the ground. I really appreciate it. We don't want we don't want that to happen. That would be a mess to clean up. So this is the Cubic Mini Stove. It's a Grizzly, so it's the, actually the bigger version. Um, and I'm just going to give you some steps for starting a good fire um, because it is a little different than a normal stove. Um, but if you know how to make a fire, you should be fine. The first step that you're going to want to do is to open a window. There's lots of windows to choose from, so um, pick one. Um, we have a a smoke detector, carbon monoxide warning deal up there so you won't die. And if you smoke yourself out, that thing's gonna go off and you're gonna have to figure out how to turn it off. Um, so yeah, open a window and then step two is you're gonna wanna get some paper. I don't think you need very much, maybe a little more than this. And open your stove, put your paper in. And then you're going to want to make sure this, um, this is called the secondary air intake. You want this closed and you want this open. So the upper one you push to the right, the lower one you push all the way in. Uh, and then you're going to put a little piece of kindling on there. We have an ax also if you need to chop some extra kindling. Um, just go ahead and stick that on top of on top of the paper, you know, like a normal fire. Um, and then you're gonna light the fire, and then you're gonna wait two to three minutes to let it get hot. Um, you wanna let the stove heat up and the pipe heat up, and that starts to draw um, and gets the air moving up and out. Um, and then once you get it uh, hot and going, you put some more wood on, and then you let it. Um, sit for another 20 minutes with the air intake all the way open and then after about 20 minutes um, you can have the door shut at this point you don't need to leave the door open for 20 minutes just three ish um, so once that has been going for about 20 minutes and the stove is hot um, then you can pull this baby open and you get more air in and then you can start to kind of feather your primary air intake to kind of slow the burn so it can last longer um, and take you through the night um, and that's it and you just keep adding fire as needed um, also if you are in our bus we have a space heater that I'm sitting on right now and so you can set the space heater to whatever temperature you want um, and then when this dies sometime during the night this heater will turn on and you'll be good to go or you can um, monitor the fire all night long if you like um, and if you need more wood, we'll have more wood under the bus in a little storage basket, bucket of some sort. Um, and then also, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us a message. Also, the, the lighter is up on that shelf up there. Um, you don't want to put the lighter too close to the fire because it will explode. Um, so hope you guys enjoy the bus if you're staying here if you're not staying here enjoy your stove and if you don't have a stove go get a stove so you can heat up your tiny house um, thanks for watching motorcycle guy um, talk to you later